I was talking to my counterpart, who's just a great guy in Massachusetts, and and uh, he was telling me it's coming your way. And I said, "Is that your accent I'm hearing from your New England accent, or are you being serious?" And, and he said, "Steve, it's coming. Get ready." And he was right. He was absolutely right. There was sort of like rumors in early March that there was going to be something happening, either. Um, maybe not full shutdowns, but definitely sort of like restrictions on service. March 16th was actually the day where our restaurants actually laid everybody off. Um, there's a couple hundred people that work at each restaurant and they, everyone on the same day had to go. The tragedy is that it couldn't have come at a worse time. If you were to describe a car accident, it was just head on. Initially, it was two weeks, right? Everyone said, all right, we're gonna quarantine for two weeks and we'll see what happens at the end of the month. Weeks turn into months and we're kind of confused. Are we, you know, are we still employees here? What's going on? So there's just a lot of confusion. The restaurant industry kind of you get money in quickly, a lot of cash, you know, you might not budget the same as someone with a regular nine to five job. So it's a really terrible feeling when you're at the grocery store and your card doesn't go through kind of thing. And you have to really think about what you're taking up to the register if you can even pay for it. I'm in this country by myself. My lease was ending and I didn't have any savings to, you know, to afford what happens. So I start uh, looking information in Google, places where I can go sleep in case that I don't have a place to, to sleep. Business owners, uh, their number one concern, even as they were you know, shutting down their businesses, they were worried about their employees. And so the one thing they reached out and asked for was for us as an association to create a workers relief fund. During the darkest of days, we received a call from employers. It was really just a new partner with us in North Carolina. We had only been working with them for, you know, just a few months. We literally just at the beginning of 2020. They stepped up and, and called and said that they were making a fairly sizable contribution to the Workers' Relief Fund. Our whole team and our members were just blown away. We have a lot of generosity by our purveyors, our suppliers, whether it be food suppliers, alcohol suppliers. And they said, we want to help you do something. We have money ready for you. We knew we weren't going to be able to help, you know, 900,000 or a million individuals out of work. So we had to figure out what can we do to make the greatest impact on those that are going to be um, needing it the most significantly. We want to make sure that we are getting to the busboys and the dishwashers and the weight people. It's very important we get this uh, relief fund grants out to team members because they're hurting out here financially. I went to a restaurant where the maitre d' uh, came up and I didn't know this individual and he hugged me and he started to cry and he says, you have no idea how that $500 helped me and my family put food on the table. I was doing some searching in the internet. I found a restaurant care, so I apply. And for my big surprise, they answer right away. I really, you know, was, overwhelmed, full of, you know, joy, because I thought that God was uh, hearing my, pray my prayers. Um, compared to the unemployment s situation that I was trying to deal with, not being able to get through to anybody, it was a really fast uh, response. So I was, it felt almost too good to be true, because I was like, wait, I didn't have to, oh, wow, okay, yeah, that, that worked. Thank you. <laughs> what adversity shows you is how to rise to the top during some of the most difficult times in your life and to, to really believe in yourself. And I think what employers did is stepped up in that same way and said, we believe in you. We believe in the cause you do each and every day. We are eternally grateful for those who make contributions to the Restaurants Care Fund and to share your blessings so that we can help those who are at the heart of our restaurant community is so critical. It can be hard to ask for help 
Um, but fortunately there are other people who are kind and giving and are willing to give their help. So it's okay to take the help and it's certainly a great thing to give the help to. Our jobs literally are to offer something to people who we don't know, complete strangers, and take care of them as best as possible. Um, and so to receive something like that in turn um, from another stranger, is, uh, it's, it's pretty wonderful. So thank you. God bless them all. And thank you. Thank you. So beyond that word, everything. Thank you.